Hello everyone, today I will introduce how to use Twin Cloud. Let's watch a video first. Part 1 is to understand the software setting. The first is variables icon. This address uses the icon variable to make five small icons for displaying the communication status. Select the ICL file generated by icons. The next part, select the first five icons for the communication status. We also need to set the network connection status. This address uses six small icons to display the network connection status. This part sell it the next six icons for the network connection status. The second is text input. This is default address. Text ASCII input and display controls can be used for input and display. These two sections correspond to different addresses. The text length can be set according to your needs. X and Y can be set the same. These parameters are set according to the keyboard. It should be noted that here is the same as the upper left corner coordinates of the keyboard. The third part is text display. This address needs to be consistent with the previous text input. Select GBK mode. The two parts can be set according to your needs. This part is consistent with the X and Y set earlier. The fourth is QR code. This is default address for QR code. The two parts can be set according to your needs. The next is return key code. Set the address and key value according to the configuration mode. What I chose here is manual configuration. The last is hex data. This address can display the communication device MAC address value through the hex variable display control. The MAC address value is 6 byte. This one is automatically generated. Next comes the demonstration section. Open Diga software. Create a new project. Choose the corresponding resolution. Choose the file path. Add the background images. Return the welcome interface. Click ICL generator. Select directory. Name it 32 and save it into an SCT folder. In addition, we need to generate the icon into an ICL file, which can be named number 48.
Now start to make the project. Click Basic Touch. Choose the area of touch. Select the page you want to switch. Because today I am showing how to use Twin Cloud, here I use Variables icon. Of course, you can set function according to your project. Next, click Variables icon. Choose the area of display. Set address. This is default address. Select icon file. Select the first five icons. We also need to set the network connection status. Same steps. Select the next six icons. Here I chose Manual Configuration Select Basic Touch. Set Parameters. Next we need to set the parameters of this interface. These two parts are the same as the previous settings. And we can copy them directly. The next parts we need to use text input and text display functions. First click ASCII text input and choose the area of input. This is default address. It can be used for input and display. The text length can be set according to your needs. X and Y can be set the same. Set the following parameters according to your needs. Choose the area of keyboard. Choose the area of input display. It should be noted that this part needs to be consistent with the coordinates of the upper left corner of the keyboard. In addition, the password part is the same step. The address needs to be changed. Other parameters do not need to be modified. The two parts require the text display function. This address needs to be consistent with the previous text input. Select GBK mode. The two parts can be set according to your needs. This part is consistent with the X and Y set earlier. Next is the same step. Modify the address. Next click QR code and choose the area of display. This is default address for QR code. The following parts can be set according to your needs. Here we need to set the return key code function. Because I choose manual configuration, set the corresponding key value and address. Next click hex data. Set address. It is a value address. Set 6 byte. It is automatically generated. After setting these parameter, the next steps are based on my own needs. Here I need to use the icon variable. This address is set according to the user's address range. 
and this address is also used for control when using Twin Cloud later. Finally, we need to set up the keyboard. Here I will only set up some of the keyboards I use first. Click Save and Generate. Now open the Dwin Cloud website. Log into the account. Add product. Fill in the information according to your needs. Click Save. Click Product Management to see the added products. We need to production no. 22. ICL file. Put this file into to an SCT folder and download it to the screen. Connect Wi-Fi on the screen. We could see that the online status is displayed here. Debug in the Dwin Cloud website. Modify the address. You could get the effect of the beginning of the video. Today's teaching content is all over. Thanks for watching. See you next time.